Hello friends. So continuing with our sessions on trigonometry, in this session we are going to illustrate how the trigonometric ratios, uh, though they depend on theta, but they do not depend on the sides or the you know the precise length of the sides of a triangle. So uh, since it is a ratio, so hence if we change the value of uh, uh, the sides of the triangle the ratios do not change yeah so this particular illustration is to describe that uh, so far the theta is constant or the angle is constant the trigonometric ratios are not going to vary they are not going to be dependent on the length of the sides of the triangle so what we have done is we have shown two triangles here one is triangle abc and another triangle is ade okay and uh, AB happens to be the radius of the outer circle and this circle is the is another concentric circle to the outer one and AD happens to be the radius of the inner circle. We have dropped the perpendicular from B onto X axis like this BC and DE is also perpendicular to X axis. So we get two right triangles here, one right angled ABC at right angled at C, another right triangle at uh, right triangle A D E right angled at E. So you now see as I will move the point B the angle would change angle would change but the ratio in both the triangles ratio of so we have taken here sine theta only one of the six ratios you can check all other ratios will behave similarly so sine theta value in both these triangles will stay the same despite the fact that their individual side lengths keep changing so if you can see ab is of uh, length one uh, so i'll just take it here yeah so this is h equals to one is the length of ab h1 is ad which is 0.5 similarly b1 is shown here as 0.31 which is ae ae is nothing but b1 and ac is 0.71 you can see similarly BC is 0.71 and ED or DE is 0.35 now as I will change the position of B you will see the values of all these sides would change only the hypotenuse that is the radius will not change but base and perpendicular values will change but despite that uh, the sine th theta value is not going to change you can see one of the cases is mentioned over here in this case theta that is 45 degrees it is given as 45 degrees here so at 45 degrees p by h in the outer triangle is 0 0.71 upon 1 which is 0 0.71 and sine theta for the inner triangle also is p1 upon h1 now p1 was 0.35 and h1 is 0.5 so if you see both the sides are exactly half of the sides given in triangle a b c so hence the ratio doesn't change now I'm going to vary this angle by changing the position of B and you will see that uh, the ratio that sine theta value doesn't change. So as I'm increasing the value of sine theta or uh, theta you can see theta is now going towards 90 degree but the sine theta remains the same in both the triangles isn't it. So if you see both the triangles are having the same value of sine theta. Now. If you can see as I'm decreasing the value of theta then also the sine theta value is not changing both in both the triangles sine theta value stays the same so you could have figured out by now that the sides of the triangle are varying proportionately isn't it you will learn this concept in similar triangles as well you can use the concepts of similar triangle as well to prove that the ratio of the two sides which are mentioned here as P by H and P1 by H1 will not change if because the triangles are similar in every case isn't it so this demonstration was to just describe to you that sine theta value doesn't change even if it is in different if even if the theta is in different triangles likewise all other t ratios will not change uh, till the value of theta is same whether it is in smaller triangle or any other bigger triangle 